Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Rain World, where we have a goal ahead of us now. Uh, certainty, we have certainty, which is lovely. I mean, I kind of figured we wanted to go see Moon, but I didn't actually know that. Um, so it's good to have a thing that we, we know that we want to do. It does sound kind of like our, our new goal is just to uh, go exactly uh, backwards. Which I don't 100% know how to do from here. So, okay, we just came from the lower entrance. And there was no other way that we saw to go at any point. Oh, lizards. Oh, lizards. Alright, I'm going to take my opportunity to cross here. You know what? I'm going to be aggressive. Thanks for the food, friend. Okay, this way. These little friends are also food. That's I didn't throw that the way I meant to throw that. Um, how do I shoot? Uh-oh. <laughs> the lizard's out for revenge. Okay. So, like, these things... Ooh. They seem more aggressive. Darn it. I was trying to throw the... I was trying to throw the spear the other way, because I thought I was, like... I thought I had a good shot at several of those little food guys at once. Uh, but then I realized you can't just throw a spear backwards while you're, like, in a tunnel like that. Because how, how would you do that? Uh, that one, if you can believe it, was just me pressing fully the wrong button. Because I still don't know how the controls of this video game work. So... This is, this is where we came in, right? I remember this room. So there's another place to sleep here, but I don't think I want to do that because we just, we just slept. We've covered like no distance and I don't want to empty my stomach. But if we continue this way, we can just... Sorry, at this point I'm just, I'm just mapping right now. Cause like if we're just going, if all we're doing is going backwards, we can we can actually take advantage of the map in a way we rarely get to in Rain World. I feel like. So shoot, where am I? I've lost me. Okay, here's me. So crawl down. We'll end up going straight down through that room. Okay, well it's a lot of it's a lot of forward and down for the moment. We do need to get to another place to sleep, but I'd rather, you know, it'd be a place that's further away than this. Come on. Swim. Damn it. Alright, kick off the wall. It's a lot like swimming. seem to go downward. <laughs> Damn it. Paddle. You would think that this slug cat's like massive tail would actually be really helpful for navigating stuff like this. So I looked at I looked at what what Moon told us again shortly before starting the recording here. Ah, hi. Um, we're cool, right? Those things really, they don't seem very aggressive. 
So yeah, we think the, the way we want to go is probably just down at the bottom of this chamber. The way we came in is certainly down at the bottom of this chamber. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, we didn't get nearly as many of those as I thought we were going to. Oh, that was really close. And we may as well take the opportunity to fill up, right? Although I think we do also have some significant travel to do. Oh, I'm just, I'm just trying to turn over. Whatever it'll do. Okay. So there are two ways out of this room. Straight down takes us to a dead end. Okay. Um, but yeah, those, those weird things that kind of look like very glowy goo spiders do not seem to be very naturally aggressive. Like, the only time we've ever seen one take action against us was the time when I threw a spear into it. And they've definitely had opportunity, right? Like, I was touching the limbs of that one when we dropped in the room there. So I wonder if those are the creatures that the goose spiders are? Except, you know, obviously, um, the goose spiders are covered in the rot. Whatever the rot is supposed to be. Remember this room. So we go down and then. I was uh, standing on a coil there while looking at the map and I was alive for some reason. I'm not sure what happened. I think I should, I should have been dead as soon as it turned on, but it waited for me to turn the map off. You give me that proper jump scare, which I guess is kind of funny. All right, we don't particularly need to wait for lizards to show up to eat. We're going to have plenty of food. All right, so we just want to kick across here. Woo! I've missed my aperture. It's fine. This is where we were going anyway. It is nice that it's such a low danger area. It does make me feel even sillier when I die, though. Ah, no, why didn't you kick off? still somewhat challenging to maneuver even after all of these times all these separate adventures still difficult to maneuver in low gravity uh, with a slug cat I don't know exactly how many G's these things were built for but I know it's not this many see it does seem like it's reaching for us at the same time sometimes but like they don't really pursue yeah I don't know they seem chill-ish Wait, did I know there was a resting spot here? Well, it doesn't matter. We wouldn't sleep here either, but...
We're just going to continue on. I don't want that thing to think I'm throwing spears at it. We'll find a spot. I mean, also, if we don't, it's not a big deal. We, we do have enough food to sleep already. I just really want to avoid the situation where I'm waking up in hostile territory, uh, like the territory we are so quickly running toward, with a totally empty stomach, because that can be a real nightmare. That is not how I was expecting the gravity to turn off. For some reason, I guess it caught me like as my momentum zeroed out in the air. At that at the the highest part of the backflip. There we go. That was pretty good. You just gotta time it very carefully to get a, a good launch like that. All right, get off of the coils before considering your movements. You know, it's easy to forget those are coils. That's what I'm gonna claim. No, no, ah, damn it. Okay, it was, so it wasn't on and I was like, maybe we can kick off of it before it turns on. And gosh, the instant we got close to it, I should have thrown a spear to the side, but because because the coil wasn't on yet, I really thought I could, I really thought I could get away with the thing there. I should have known here in this place, the slug cat is not the one who gets away with things. Well, love to travel uh, long distances over and over and over again. Same long distances in low threat areas. I'm sure that's the it's the content everybody signed up for. Get over there. Ah, we I'm having trouble apparently getting myself into the... There we go. Weird. I would love to know how. How that lizard managed to maneuver itself. Because we've seen what those lizards look like when they're moving around in the, in the low grav. Like, it is for sure the case that the lizards could not survive in low gravity environments, right? They wouldn't be able to hunt, they wouldn't be able to eat, they wouldn't be able to, to find places to rest. Well, except in the sense that it would be perfectly safe for them to just lay down anywhere because there's no, there's no real threats around here. Except the other lizards of their tribe who don't seem to have any problem with eating them. Yeah, with that thing right there, I'm definitely reluctant to uh, to attempt to eat in this place. So I, I vaguely remember the Cloud Islands from, um, geez, was it the 
was the was the original stun cat the last time we went there? Maybe not, but it's definitely like it's over by the farmer rays, right? We might actually have to go through the farmer rays to get to it. Moon does um, mention the crops briefly while giving us directions. So, okay, that was a big noise that scared the shit out of me because I am small and fragile. Hang on to the thing until stuff turns off. Alright, high stakes for screwing that up, but we're fine. it away. Okay, so we do just want to use the bottom here. So there's a way down in this room that we that we have not tried. But it seems promising. Uh, again, they're probably not hostile. But every single time I scare, I, I get scared. And I mean, I don't think it's wholly unreasonable. It's, we've had some real bad experiences with some things that look approximately like that. Okay. I mean, we would prefer to go left if possible. Is there a way out over here? There is not. Okay, well. Oh, except this actually... This is uncapped. Hold on, have we found a way out of the computer complex? A way with plant life, even. the dead end. Uh, the, like, the passing clouds, you can see them, like, through the gaps here, or over on the left, are really beautiful. But I, but I think that's it. I think this is a dead end. Yeah. Okay, well, that was just about a character unlocked for Arena. You know, for all those, for all those competitive multiplayer, competitive Rain World players. The vibe of that room is really interesting. Maybe I should have spent a little bit more time over there, like, verifying that we can't get out, but I'm, I'm like, a little bit, um, a little bit concerned about time. We've just been on this cycle for quite a while, and I'm worried I'm going to get rained out of being able to live. So we're below anywhere we've ever been.
does this even... I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure that we are in a useful spot right now. Why can't I get the slug cat to jump here? There we go. kind of going uh the pearl's kind of going a little nuts i wonder if that means something Alright, so we don't actually know where this goes. But it's not to any of the places we've been before. Well. A place with a gate and a place where we can sleep. I think let's take the sleep. And we'll see about that gate in the morning. There is theoretically a lot of food available here, right? Like we could go back and get food if we need to. I was a little a little afraid to hunt around the big glow worm body things, but we do have to eat. Where does this go? Well, it's a little bit of a bummer that we won't be able to sleep over there, but actually, I I think I would rather have, even if I had known this was here, I would rather have slept on the side of the gate that we were just on, because if this isn't a useful place to be, right, like if we, if we explore a few screens over and this turns out to not be good, we can just kind of like revert into, first of all, relatively easy food, and secondly, um, places where we know our way around. I mean, this looks like exterior. I mean, oh, jeez, I... I saw it right before it dropped. I'm embarrassed. I saw it right before it dropped, and my, my response was to, like, I don't know, in surprise, draw my hands up off the keyboard like that was going to help. Like, we're definitely outside. We're definitely headed west. We're definitely high up. Right? These are all these are all promising things. And actually honestly, like if this turns out to be a useful direction, what might be worth doing is spending one more cycle inside the computer, going back, hunting up to full, and then sleeping on this side of the gate. Oh, hell. I don't see it. It's not here, right? Yeah. But I hate that I don't see it. Well, hey there. Little buddy. It's been a minute. Since we had a yellow tutorial friend following us about. Oh, does that not? Okay. Let's 
fine. I'll just drop myself over here. Oh, there it is. Oh. I... I speared it and still died. We killed each other. That's, that's really embarrassing for both of us, honestly. It's a big, it's a big failure. Neither of our families are going to want to claim us. Let's try to make it past the stupid drop bug this time. All right, it does not appear to be up here again. <laughs> I don't see it down there either, which makes me feel like it's just, it's gonna be just ahead Every single time I stop paying attention to it, I stop looking for a second, that's where we'll find it. This thing is the greatest hunter of all time. Alright, it's not... It's not here. Doesn't appear to be here either. Okay. So wait, this is not the... No, this is not the part of the exterior that we climbed up. I don't know where we are. Oh no, I threw the spear into the wall. Shit, yeah, there's no escaping that. It like saw my legs. The the gap there was only large enough for us to go through um, on all fours. It saw my legs and it moved and I panicked and threw the spear toward it. But because we were standing, my arms were, you know, the, the whole upper half of my body was behind the wall. All right. This is going really not that well. <laughs> Our first... Uh, couple of stabs out here, but I don't know. This might be the right way. I really wish we didn't always have to be carrying a thing. Like, I get that this is the point. They don't want you using passage for, like, actual main quest progress stuff. So they always give you an object that you have to take from place to place. The the rarefaction cell, etc. When they're when they're making you travel over distances that you've already traveled. Because obviously, um, if you're traveling a distance you haven't already traveled, the passage is irrelevant. It would probably just be easier to um, to drop down the left side. And there's that drop bug, but unfortunately it's not really a place I can do much about it. I think I actually am going to do that. So hold on, let's use these. Shit, I missed it. I missed it and it's so angry. I had an opportunity there to grab a spear and I didn't take it. Okay. Um, I don't know where the pearl fell. Uh, 
Oh, I think the pearl may have gone off the side of the world. Well, alright, that's fine. This can still be informational. Nope, you cannot go off the bottom of that screen. Despite the fact that there is no way to tell the bottom of that screen from the bottom of the screen above it, which you can fall through. And in fact, they go to the trouble of having there be a thing for you to hang off of to make the fall seem shorter, and having there be um, objects in the background that are only partially off screen, indicating that the vista should continue as you continue downward. That one's just a hard, that one's just a hard barrier. Yeah, even like the way the, um, the way that it's represented on your map, it's not a hard edge on the map. It's a soft, like, oh, look, there's more. You could, you could go further in this direction and it would peel back more of the fog of war. <sighs> this fucking game. Again, like, it would be reasonable for them to, to do things like that. To just, wow, that's an explosive spear. Um... For them to just have hard barriers. Oh, you haven't picked your spot yet. Damn it. Um, it would be more reasonable for them to do stuff like that and just have hard barriers if they had smooth scrolling the rest of the time. Alright, whatever. That'll do. You you win enough that I am not interested in killing you. Because then, you know, like a, a hard barrier would communicate something, as it is. It's just, you, you have to guess. Okay, there's a lizard. Damn it. Of course I hit it in the head plate. That's mine, thank you. Also, did you really die in one? Well, that's disappointing, food-wise. I probably shouldn't go. I, I should go down this left side. I think this is safer. Turns out to be. Oh, food plants. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. The day is moderately saved. Part of me is happy not to have to walk through that, like, detritus-filled hallway there, because... Okay, this is the precipice. That's... I think that's okay. I think we're good with that. Because, like, oh man, if there was a drop bug hiding, how would I even see it? Another part of me is really unhappy to be traveling up at the top of the... Oh! Oh, no, I guess not. I was going to say, this is, we've been here. But the, um, the fact that it's not filled in on our map suggests that, no, we have simply been to another, another girdered area that looks kind of similar. Okay, careful. Don't screw things up now. Yeah, no, we've just been to a, a different area. Okay. Huh. I'm a little worried that, like, we know that they will drop if you stay, like, close to their angle too, for too long. I'm a little worried that trying to climb up there would get me caught. Oh, no, I threw the spear the wrong way, but threw the pearl the correct way, I think. 
cool. Which means the pearl went off the world and the spear went nowhere? How? My question is, how did they get thrown in different directions? I definitely was only pressing one, one direction while throw... Uh, mm. All right. I am like, I am like very sure we're doing the right thing now. Um, however, I would like to food. So we know there's a food plant on the way. But it would be good if we could get like... Is this an area I know? It's not. It would be good if we could get fed, rest here one more night, and then um, set out with five bubbles in our stomach already so that food plant puts us up to fall. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, did you just let go of it instead of kicking off of it? Why? So let's see here. Where is a room where we know there's lots to eat? This room over here isn't bad. Is that room up there? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that, the room up in the top actually will be really good. Or not, the, not the room that this connects to directly, but the room that is on the other side of the connection. Wait for the gravity. Carefully, you know, carefully. Okay. Uh, did I survive because of the momentum change from the spear throw? I like to think so. This is the this is the way. Ooh. I don't love this so much as a way back. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I definitely remember coming this way now, though. This room does not have as many, um, as many little food dudes in it as I remembered. Yeah, I remember this, this space all swirling with, okay, well, you know, this is something I could do off camera, probably. Just find a place to eat and eat there until. What on earth are you doing, slug cat? I'm surprised that the, um, that the spear that we definitely threw in that wall when we were here the first time isn't still there. All right, we're just going to wait for the gravity to turn back off and then do a wall kick here. And... Okay, this is a little more gradual than I was hoping. It's got me nervous, for sure. Okay. Nope, I'm trying to grab onto something. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to just crawl down with all of our strength until the thing turns off. This is just going to take me back down to 
the room with the um uh, uh no okay ow i was gonna say through that through that uh floor in the room that we just died in yeah it can only be <laughs> yep yeah, okay that's not super useful all right i'm gonna go ahead and call the episode here that's gonna be it for us for today thank you all so much for watching off screen i'm gonna go back I'm gonna I'm gonna spear a bunch of those little the little flying things for all of their delicious glowing juices. And then when you come back next time, we will be setting out into the precipice with a considerably fuller stomach. And we'll see you then.